put the cherry on top, slap bracelets yep. on each arm oh. before they walk out. Great. So, so cool. So Great. Cool. <laughs>
Yes, the beautiful. That's fair. That's fair. The beautiful little tip on it. <laughs> All right. All right. What's your number three? My number three. Ho the newspaper headlines is a hobo stops begging, demands change. I'm a sucker for fantastically stupid fake newspaper headline, and that one really got me. Um, let's see. Parents smile as bodies pile is another good one. Um, not a headline, but at least he's only shooting the dirty cops. We're all dirty cops! <laughs> like, oh, it's just... At least he's only shooting the dirty cops. We're all dirty cops! So, so many good headlines and lines and things like that. So That was my number two were the newspaper right. clippings and the headlines. So my personal favorite is Hobo Delivers Justice. One shell at a time. <laughs> That's a good one. I, like I was it. I was cracking up in the way how they do it too. It's almost like mm. a comic book style. All you right. know, you see you see one newspaper and then it goes to a cutscene of him, you know, taking out the trash, and then all of a sudden it goes to another cutscene of it spinning into the mm. newspaper whatever. Which is another seventies, eighties yes. trope of the newspaper spinning in with the headline. Yes, yeah, it's it was it was that. really great. It was great. That was that was the punniness of the movie oh, yeah. that I enjoyed. What's oh, your yeah. number two, Jesse? My number two, Rutger Hauer. I mean, this guy was amazing. I mean, R.I.P. I mean, see Blade Runner. See The Hitcher. Mm -hmm. See this movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, he brings so much pathos to the movie. The sadness is he eats glass or decides to give up the lawnmower he wants so badly for the shotgun. I mean, you feel for this guy. Like, you shouldn't feel anything in this movie. It's like true. But he, he brings so much more than this movie needs or deserves and actually gives it something where it's like, wow, like we didn't appreciate him enough when he was around. Like yeah. he should have been in more movies. Like This movie actually, like for all of its blood and guts and gore and just disturbing. There's a weird heart and pathos with yes. him. Yes, like, it's like crazy. you feel for him and he just wants a lawnmower so that he can like have a job, so that he can start right. up his own business yeah. and start up his job. He's just saving up money for a lawnmower. It's like so innocently sweet. <laughs> and you're like, this is funny and goofy, but then it's like he makes you buy it. Like, yes. oh my gosh, like. Dude with a, a little dream. Like. And he actually has empathy for people. That's why whenever like something bad's going on, you usually see him like hiding. Like he doesn't even want to see it or anything until he steps into his role and mm -hmm. you know yeah. tries to end the crime spree. But yeah. 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 Dr. Howard, man. I mean, great. All right, Leah, what's your number one reason to see Hobo with a shotgun? Because I said so. This movie was Grindhouse to a core. It was another one that, like, I'm super happy that we found. Some of our oh, movies yeah. aren't necessarily Grindhouse. Strictly, yes. You know, you know, we we do the Grindhouse horror kind of tiptoe around some sci-fi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like this was Grindhouse. Yep. This was perfect. Down to. You know, the the gory way how anatomy does not function, but it does in this movie. <laughs> and, and just everything. Just like you said, our our beloved hobo made you just feel for him while watching these disturbing, just dark things going on around. The the main guy, Drake, the the main the mm -hmm. kingpin or oh, whatever. Gosh. Despicable. He was horrible and his oh, sons yeah. and like it made you actually be like, yeah, you can go ahead and just shoot him with the shotgun. I'd be fine Pretty with much. that. Yeah. Like I mean, it, it made you feel that passionately for every single character. I mean, there was, I mean, and there was like no other way. There's no getting through to these folks. There's no, no. changing them. They're like, they, you, yeah. Yeah. Their main thing was to make everyone fear them. And like even down to, you know what I mean? Well, that's not scary. That's not scary. Pff, I don't fear you. What's something right. that really, and like they actually did things that were just despicable that you would. Oh yeah. I mean, there's just, there's no going back. Yeah. Like, these guys need to go. And it was, yeah. yes, yes. So watch it, watch it, watch it. All right. What's your number one reason, Jesse? Because I said so. This is the perfect movie to dive back fully into the Grindhouse with, especially since it sprung from a fake trailer in the Robert Rodriguez, Quentin Tarantino Grindhouse film from 2007. And if you want yeah. something incredibly gnarly, but with a wink, this movie has it covered. It I definitely mean, does. Absolutely. Yeah. Right from the beginning credits, too, I, it instantly had that Quentin Tarantino feel. Like, they did that on purpose. The oh, sure. 70s gritty. Like, oh, I was yeah. like, oh, okay, this is this is it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, so I think we'll call it a tie. Yeah. I think because it's the, it's the but, library grindhouse. We're back. Yes. I mean, we're back with, like, some real grindhouse entertainment with this one, I think. This and, this was great. Now, not for the faint of heart yet again. Oh, no. There is a lot oh, of... No. Yes, just I mean, a, a lot of blood and just gross stuff sometimes, but... Yeah, it's... 
I mean, it, it's grindhouse. Blood, viscera and practical gore everywhere. Yeah, like, it is well, practical and unpractical. And like some horrific language and verbiage and things. Yes. Um, but yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's all, yeah. it's all, it's not, it's not to be taken seriously. Like these no, filmmakers that... are meaning it. It's like, we are setting up these horrible, horrible people that you will want to be taken down in the worst possible ways. And that's why they're saying these things and doing these horrific things is because to get you worked up to the point where it's like, all you want you to see want is to... hobo yes. pick up that shotgun and get it done. And, and that's kind of part of the grindhouse thing, that catharsis. Exactly. Yeah. And this delivers on that completely. It does. So yeah, so head on over to Hoopla to check this one out. For Library Grindhouse, I'm Jesse. And I'm Leah. And we'll see you next time. Bye.